Hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a haul that I got at a few estate sales and garage sales this weekend, pretty much on Saturday, because that's when I was able to get out and about and go uh, garage selling and estate selling. And I am new to Austin, so I'm still learning the ropes and figuring out where's the best area and what's going to be what's going to work for me while I'm here. So, so far I'm finding, I'm, I'm really liking the estate sales a lot here that I've been finding because <clears throat> the price has been really, really good. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, so far I've been doing really well with estate sales. It's different than when I was at home because a lot of the, the estate sales were way expensive. So I'm going to share with you what I got. Hi, everybody. If you're watching later, I am live. So if you're ever interested in catching me live, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, hit the bell, but it will send you uh, notifications. So hello in the chat. Hi, Christine, Susan, Tam, Naomi, and Marge. How are you? Is it Mark or Marge? Marge. And hello, Rebecca. Okay. So first up, I went to an estate sale where I spent 26 or 27 bucks. I put 50 on the title because it is all about approximately about 50, may have been about 55 for everything. Okay, so first up, I got a whole bunch of Clinique bags. I'm not even sure they have a resale value, but they had a great price on them and that was free. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up because they're really cute. They're all in like brand new condition. And I thought, you know what, I could do I mean, look, they're just like brand new. Um, you know, when we go to the pool or we're going out um, back, you know, if we go biking or something and I want to throw things in the backpack that I can find easily, just throw them in one of these, zip it up, throw it in the backpack or the swim bag, and I can find my stuff pretty easily with those. So let me throw those over here. <laughs> so that is the Clinique bags. And then I wanted to say... Also, I did a haul video right before this on my homeschool channel because I did pick up some educational stuff and I'm trying to separate it out so I don't show you all of that stuff. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, like the teachery type things, um, then go check out my channel, Homeschool Honey, because I did a haul video over there right before this. So hi, hi everybody jumping in. Okay, this estate sale was run by, I think the family uh, because it was really cheap. <laughs> Everything was really cheap. The free stuff was for one. And then all the jewelry that I got was super cheap as well. And a few other things. So I'll just share with you what I got. Hi, everybody. All right. So first up, I got this rhinestone Texas brooch. And that was 25 cents. So the price was right. So even... At 25 cents, it's like, yes, I don't think I'll have a problem making my money back on that. Um, also, I was thinking, you know, this is a great way for me to find really cute stuff to put in. I'm, I'm starting my lots back up on my Etsy store when I get my store. Look, what's that, you guys? It's a printer. So pretty soon I'll be able to get everything up and running again. Nothing else in here. But um, so, yeah, on my Etsy store, I'll get my hauls, my Lots going up again, my mystery lots. And then on my Patreon, I'm doing like a, a monthly box if you're interested, it's up there. So I was like, you know what? For prices like this, 25 cents, 50 cents, that'll give me some great things to include. Yeah. Okay, and then next up, there I love these. Mixed metal, this is copper, brass, and probably silver. Twisted uh, little cuff bangle bracelet that was, I think, a quarter... I'll have to see if I find the tag for it. But everything was about a quarter in the jewelry department there. Okay, next. Some of the things are in little baggies. So I'll have to just either pull them out or show you. So we've got, this was a quarter. And it's a little enamel ring. Let me show you. Let me show you. And I've sold something similar to this. Um, but it was banged up. So this is pretty thin too. The one I had was a little thicker. And this one looks like it's got, what do you think those are? Are they supposed to be roses or maybe like chrysanthemums? Maybe they're roses. The foliage doesn't look like a rose. That's what's got me. Is it a, some sort of chrysanthemum? I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Last one in the group. But that was a quarter, so that's a good price. 
Can't argue with a quarter. Well, I guess you could, but I won't. <laughs> All right, again, another quarter. And this is a little blingy star brooch, like so. Cute. Um, I don't see a name on this one. Some of them have maker's marks, but a lot of it doesn't. These two were $4, and I did I paid up for this. $4 for these two Christmas trees. So I just thought they were really cute and blingy. So two bucks a piece. They're not missing any stones that I could tell. No, nope. And, hmm. Yeah, I don't see a name on those either, but I thought they were cute. Yeah. Hi, hi, Cindy. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you. Okay, then these were 50 cents and they were also marked old. I think that says old. Old. And they are, they look like little swallows. They're little birds and they are, if I can get them out. Uh, I'm trying to get them out of here. They're, this is stapled closed. Hang on. This is one of those moments where I was kind of like picking things up and I was like, oh, I'll get it closer later. At prices like these, let me pick up and just kind of run with it. So there are these little birds with these nice green stones and then they're screw back like this. <laughs> and I think there's a mark. There is, it looks like a mark on there. Is that? Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a mark kind of curved there or if it's just the... Kind of like a distressed. Of course, I don't have a loop handy, do I? No, no, I don't. Um, yeah, I can't tell. It doesn't really look like it on that one. So those were very unusual and definitely old. So those will be fun to figure out a little bit more info about. Let's see. Tam says, I went to an estate sale this past Thursday, I think I did pretty good, but I only guess, oh, yeah, research will tell, yeah. Sometimes you gotta go with your gut. I know I do. Sometimes I just go with my gut and, and get stuff that looks good. Okay, these looked good. One, I love getting mixed metal stuff. 285 without a state sales the oh wow. Yeah, well it sounds like you probably got some good stuff. These were a quarter. I could see spending that though, honestly. <laughs> I won't lie. I could see myself doing that. Okay, these are marked. Let me get this up here for you. Look at how cute, XO. Oh, XO, XO. Hugs and kisses, right? And then, oh brother, I wish I could see better. Maybe if I hold it up, I'll see. One side looks like it says 925. And the other side, I cannot, can you guys read that? It almost looks like a JA, but it doesn't look like the right kind of JA. Hang on, let me look at the other one. Yeah, one side definitely says 925. I'm trying to rub it a bit. What do you guys think? Let me hold it up. Tell me what you think. I like these ones a lot. I've been keeping too much lately. Uh, I can't really tell. ND, is that, y'all think it says ND? I'll have to do a little digging, but I really like these. I think they're cute. So those were a quarter and D. Okay, I'll dig them up. I'll, I'll do a little research. And that, y'all, I find I keep finding stuff that I really like. This is a quarter as well. And these were earrings. And they are, I'm trying to figure out what you would call this shape. Like if you were trying to describe this shape so someone could find these earrings, other than Skinny Snowman, <laughs> what would you describe them as? They are sort of teardrop, but they're sort of like a skinny snowman or a snowman mom with her hands on her hips. Yeah. Uh, abs no, they're not really abstract. I mean, kind of curved, abstract. Yeah, keyhole. Oh, yeah. They do kind of look like a keyhole. Keyhole shaped. You guys, look at y'all. Okay, cool. Okay, where's my magnet? They they are magnetic. I thought, well, let's just go ahead. Right, it's so, I mean, so far, I've had really good luck with the estate sale jewelry here. Okay, next. And this one, I, I got a ton of stuff at. Do you ever, I mean, do you ever feel bad? <laughs> because it's so good. This was a quarter, and it's a, it's a brooch and clip-on earrings. And they're leaves. 
and a branch. Now the thing is, I, I'm surprised at some of these not having a mark. Like this one does not have a maker's mark that I can see. Freeform drops. Oh, that's good. Yeah, freeform drops. <laughs> is it like a Warshak test? <laughs> what do you see in this picture? <laughs> okay, here's another one that was a quarter, and I almost didn't get it, but then I realized, no, I should get this. <laughs> good reasoning, right? So it's a treble clef, right? That's the treble clef. The so music symbol. And it just looked really, I don't know, well done. I liked it. So there's that. <laughs> Oh, well, I have, I have some of that, Heather, but I haven't gotten to it yet, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I get there. This is all from the first, first to see, so. Uh, again, this was a quarter, and these are some earrings that are stars. The top stars have little stones, and then the bottom are just these open, open stars. Yeah, they were good for a quarter. Break the bank for, I know, I was so surprised. So I just started picking things up. Oh wait, this is a good one. <laughs> this will be a good one. This will make my 20 something dollars back. How much you wanna bet? Here we go. Well, you can't bet till you see it right. <laughs> Let me close it up. It's a brooch and it's kitties in a basket. <laughs> so we've got three kitties. They're kind of weird looking though. Look at those eyes. Maybe it's night and the eyes, uh, they're whiskers too. They're they're a little strange, and their hands are really human-esque. <laughs> they're a bit bizarre, I think. This one's actually kind of reaching out three-dimensionally. Look at him. He's reaching out for you. Yeah, they're, they're a bit, these are, I, I like cats. These ones are a little creepy, though. <laughs> but I like them, right? Meow. <laughs> the candies are shocked. They they are cute and creepy at the same time, which may be a really good selling point for them. <laughs> you won't want to part with that. I know, right? It's so you and this is the thing, like when I see really unusual things like this that look like they're pretty well done, I'm so surprised when I don't see a mark on them. But I don't. Just like a maker's mark or something. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon. Okay, next. Um, this was a quarter, and the reason I got it, one has three pins in it, but the reason I got this one was, well, that's cute. It's a wooden. And then this is cute, too. Butterflies tend to do well. People are always looking. Oh, is that missing a stone? Yeah, that one's missing a stone, so that'll go into a, a lot. But the Roadrunner. I got it for the Roadrunner. I just loved it. I think I saw another Roadrunner too. So it was a quarter for all of these. Oh, you're right, Richard D. Valley. <laughs> oh, what are their names? Oh my gosh. The, uh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Oh, wait, where did that come from? There's a K in Knucklehead. <laughs> all right, so this was a quarter as well. And it's a, not a brooch, but a Cheshire. Oh, yeah, Bonnie says that. The Cats Reminder of Cheshire Cat Illustration from Alice in Wonderland. There was another um, pendant with Roadrunners on it, which I thought was really cool. So it's really open work. So somebody who's into Roadrunners will definitely like that. Rub a dub dub, three cats in a tub, right? <laughs> Ooh, we have a few friends from Arkansas in the chat tonight. Cool. I think so. yeah. All right, then y'all, okay, this will be a fun one. This will be an exercise for Texas gals, jewelry lovers. Here we go. Time, it's time to play keyword. Oh dear, it's broken. Oh darn, okay, well maybe, no, there's no fix in this. Well, maybe, well, no. Ah, it's broken. But if we could fix it, look at it. It is, I think these were its legs at some point maybe yeah these were the legs oh, but it's broken oh well but look at it it's crazy right um it's and this one is signed of course <laughs> that one's signed and then there was this like toucan thing with it carrying your purse so maybe that was supposed to be on there somehow i don't know anyway oh well <laughs> it's broken maybe it was supposed to be a 
flamingo. I, it's pink. <laughs> oh. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next up, this was $3. I paid up for this one. This is a brooch and earrings. Friendly. Oh, it's friendly plastic. Okay, I've never heard of that. That's a new one for me. I'm going to have to look that up. Friendly plastic. Does that mean I can friendly put it back together? Because that would be awesome. All right, so we've got this awesome brooch. It can be worn this way. But look at these blues. Isn't that gorgeous? It's not missing any stones. And then it has the matching earrings. Again, no maker's mark. Aren't they really pretty, though? Here we go. So pretty. <laughs> Ta-da! Yeah, this is, again, I can't lie. Why no maker's mark? Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, next up still, this was, again, I spent, I think, 26 bucks at this estate sale. These are, I think they're earrings. That was a quarter. Let me open it up. Reheat carefully. In the, is it like Shrinky Dinks? Oh, I, that's what I, I, I bought some stuff for Shrinky Dinks for us, to, for us to do. We haven't played with Shrinky Dinks yet. My boys have never done. Shrinky dinks. Look at these earrings. Look, look, look. Aren't they pretty? It's kind of like mesh open work part with a medallion sort of top. Like so. And they're pierced. Pierced ears. I'll have to get backs for them, but that's no biggie. That's no biggie. Again, no maker's mark. Hello. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see. Do, 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 do. You heard that mismatched earrings are going to be a fall fashion. Oh, goodness, I have enough of them, so hopefully. <laughs> we just started, well, fairly, yeah, we haven't been on too long. Okay, again, another quarter. And these are just some screw backs, but I, th I liked them. They just have these kind of rectangular encircle rhinestones. I'm guessing they're just rhinestones in there. So those were pretty. Very blingy. Ooh. <laughs> I like them. I like them. Okay. Oh, wait. Y'all are talking. Okay. Uh, sometimes I get caught up in the chat and I'm like, what are they talking about? They're talking to each other. That's cool. Okay. So then this was just, I can't, honestly, I don't remember picking this up, but it was in there. So just some plastic beads. So, uh, okay. Then this was 50 cents. Let's see what we've got in there. It's Christmas. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Do you guys do any Christmas in July stuff? Have you sold any Christmas stuff? Christmas jewelry or anything? So there's this holly leaf and a Christmas tree. Christmas. Um, Christmas. Do you know what that's from? 10 points. 10 points to the house that gets it. <laughs> Christmas. Um, yeah, I, I've sold some shirt because my merch, my Amazon is still going on. It's still rolling because that's one thing I can do without having to ship things out. So I sold some Christmas shirts in July. So yeah, you called, you sold a Christmas, a Christmas CD last month. Yeah. Christmas in July. So this was 50 cents. Watch how pretty. Nobody knows the movie. Christmas. Do I need to give you more hints? No, nobody. Not yet. No, nope, not Christmas story. 50 cents. <laughs> this was 50 cents. Look how pretty. Ready? And here, it's this really pretty cross wrapped with this gold tone. Oh, do I need to give you guys another hint? I will give you another hint. So, no, not Elf. It's not really a Christmas movie. Um, let's see. There's a line that says, I want my $2. The woman that's doing it is the... There it is, Terry's got it better off dead. Because she's like, French fries, French dressing, French toast. When she has like a French foreign exchange student and she thinks she doesn't understand English. I don't think it's sterling just because of the, I don't think so. But isn't it pretty? I, I just loved it. Let me get my wand out. You need some death piles in that room. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Mimi is like, hi. Hi, Mimi. My Mimi girl is here to say hello. You want to say hey? If I pick her up, she'll run off. Watch. Here she is, my Mimi. Mwah. Hey, sweetie. 
No, she's mad. She'll run away. <laughs> yep, she's my little black storm cloud. All right, so here we've got 25 cents on this stuff. Let me come back. Don't you? Yeah? Okay, good. <laughs> hello, hello. QVC had Christmas in July weekend. Oh, cool. The wreath I just sold was a Christmas one. Nice. Okay, so this was a quarter. And in this baggie, we've got... It's a tumbled stone. I'm not 100% sure. It's not tiger's eye. Anybody? Anybody? No. And then we've got this. Like a, it's plastic, but it looks like a like a moonstone sort of deal. And then this brooch. This was the reason. It is wood, and it's carved in. If you can see, I'm trying to see if you can. It's really hard to tell, like for you to see it, but it's carved. And then the paint is set into where it's carved. Oh, I wish I could get it where you could really see where it's carved. Um, but I can feel it on there. Plastique. <laughs> that. Okay, so is it Mimi? Yeah, she's so pretty. She's a mama's girl too. She is. Okay, so still, yeah, she's a very, very fluffy girl. <laughs> so this was a quarter and it is a feather a leaf a feather or a leaf a feathery leaf leaf I think it's a leaf isn't it pretty so there's that again there's the backing no maker's mark just really pretty and unusual I don't think I've seen anything quite like it it's pretty Jacobian style flowers. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, where does place you? <gasps> You're going to the car wash. Oh dear. Okay, so here's a, a an unusual one. Oh, thank you, believe. Um, this was twenty five cents, and it was it's Santa playing golf. So that ought to go. I think that'll go pretty well for a golfer. <laughs> thank you, thank you. By the way, I have a package coming. Oh, thank you, Cindy. Oh, they'll love that. I need to get over to the uh, P.O. box. Man, it's it's been bananas. All right, so again, this was a quarter. And there are three shells in here. I need to check the chains on these because I was... Oh, they're not pendants. Okay, so I've got one shell pendant that's wrapped like so, hang on, let me set these down so you can see it. And then there's the gold or gold tone chain. And then the earring, they're earrings. Isn't that unusual? Okay, let me show you so you can see. They're little shells, wire wrap. I have never seen anything quite like this. That's very unusual, like so. They're upside down, is that weird? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I will do my best to tell you how much I think. All right, let's get this here. Yeah, that's magnetic. <clears throat> um, on this, again, I, I haven't done any research, but I'm guessing for, I'll probably list these separately, um, but my guess on this one is probably at least 20 bucks, if not more, depending on what I see out there. I'll probably do around 20 on this. And then the earrings too, because they're so funky, right? I'll probably put them up for around $17.99. Why not? <laughs> I haven't seen anything. <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like those earrings. Um, but again, prices could be totally different than what I think. Um, then, oh, these were cool. These were 25 cents as well. It goes down here. Aren't they cool, Cindy? Oh my gosh. Now I'm like, maybe I should have bought more while I was there. Oh yay, these ones are... Ready? Ready? Oh, 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 oh my gosh, these are cool. I just saw this one and I thought they were both the same. I saw this guy, this like, and I know this is not like a closing aid, but it's like this enamel inlay sort of, and it's got the cowboy. And so I thought it was like two like cowboy earrings. Watch the other one. Ready? The other one is like cowboys and Indians. He's got his hatchet, he's got his mohawk and his lime green shirt for some reason. 
Yeah, aren't they cool? And these ones, I'm gonna have to look up. Here is the maker on those. I, if you guys know this maker, let me know, because I don't know this one. Those are super cool. <laughs> those are so fun. Oh my gosh. I've been keeping way too much lately. But I can keep them, and then uh, I will have to look this brand up. But I, I would probably, it's French. Okay, did I, did I mispronounce that? Sorry, y'all. Is that a B on the end? Oh, it's a bird. Okay. Um, you've never seen those. I would, I would put these pretty high unless I've seen all the rage, two different earrings. Perfect. Okay. You would keep, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hang on to them for now, but I think, um, I don't know, unless there's a ton of them out there, I would probably go 40 bucks or so on these, depending on the brand. I don't know the brand. But just off the, you know, unless there are a dime a dozen once I start doing research, I'd probably do like 40 bucks on them. Maybe more. We'll see. But they're cool, huh? Those are conversation starters. <laughs> Aren't they cool? Okay, sell around 15 bucks. The subject is awesome. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like maybe the subject matter would be a hot seller. We'll see. But it's one of those, it's like, What's it worth to you if it's something that you think is cool? Like, well, I like it $40. I'd rather keep it for anything, you know what I mean? If I can't get 40 bucks for them, I'll just keep them. Oh, okay, be sure to, Cindy says, be sure to include the exclamation on the search. That's how I found them on eBay. And y'all make sure to go follow Cindy Loves Jewelry because she puts out lots of haul videos too. And she is one of the awesome admins that has been keeping Texas Gals jewelry lovers afloat because I've been so absent. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without without y'all for sure. Okay, so what was this? This was two dollars for this holly berry and leaves. Very pretty. Then again, I looked them up and there's 442 of those ones or that brand. 442 of my cowboy and Indian. If it's 442 of those, I'm gonna just keep them. <laughs> okay, then again, still same one. 25 cents, impromptu thrift says, I looked them up, there's 442. Okay, let me know if it's Cowboys and Indians or just that brand, because, yeah. Check the pendant and earrings from before. Oh, for the, oh, just the brand, okay. Oh, on the gold, on the wire wrap, I saw that, y'all, I'll double check on the wire wrap. I checked the chain, the chain was not. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got a tangled mess for 25 cents, my favorite. So we have some dangle earrings. Um, what do you got going on? Can I fix you? There we go. Maybe. They need to be straightened out. Oh, you just got your notification. Well, here we are. We were wondering where you were. All right, so then there's these little, they look like hematite balls, maybe, or just like a black pearl. I'll have to get a little closer in to check. Thought I had another cat coming. Then there's this earring, mate. And what else have we got? Oh, we got another cowboy. Ooh, fun. Who are you? Let's see. Who are you? So there's the chain, just a straight up chain. And the, oh, there goes one. We got a cowboy. And, oh, let me just one at a time set that down. We have, oh, you've been there. Okay. Oops. <laughs> um, it's a cowboy. He's a, he looks like an old timer too. And he just pulled out a six shooter. He definitely looks like an old timer. He's got his hand ready on the other one. And then, okay, there's two chains. But then I dropped the other guy. The other guy, can't tell. It doesn't have, oh, he's got his hat in his hand. Okay, so then we've got another cowboy on his horse, but his hat is in his hand. So he is still a cowboy. Or a vaquero. Like so. Cool. Right? So all of that, those there was two pairs of earrings and the cowboys in the bag for a quarter. Oh hey Chris. That's Miss Leia. Miss Leia will come in. Or not. We'll see. Looks like he has rickets. He's been riding his horse a little too long today. Out in the heat. <laughs> Alright, we're still at it. Okay, this. My leg's straight. My leg is falling. Yeah, she changed her mind. She she went out. 
All right, this was a quarter, and there are two brooches in here. I know. He's been riding for a while. He's been riding. All right, so we have a present, little enamel present. And then this one is cool. Ready? Oh, and it's marked, too. Okay, we're going to have to look at it. We have a llama and a lady. So this brooch, turn it around, looks pretty old. You can see the wire wrap there. It's got the C clasp there. And then there is a mark there, but I can't read it. It looks like a number. Let's see if it's upside down. I don't have a loop with me. It kind of looks like it's a 925, but it could be an 8. Mm, I can't really read it. I'll have to get closer in there. Isn't it cool? Hi, Nancy. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it could be an alpaca. That's true, because then it would make it, like, Peruvian. Hey, dude. <laughs> Surprise. I'm alive. <laughs> Um, anyway, so maybe nine. Yeah, I'll have to get my uh, loop and check it out. That was twenty-five. Oh, the lady is called something. They wear railroad hats in South America. I'll have to ask my um, in-laws. Like to go to South America quite a bit. But yeah, she does have that hat. She's got a big old hat on. What's up, Shay? Can we watch the TV? Um, will you ask Daddy? Because I think he's down there. Can you talk to Daddy about that? Okay. All right. 900 so yeah i think i mean it's silver i don't think it's sterling but yeah it's silver of some sort some grade okay and then here we go this says three for 25 cents are y'all ready here we go and i haven't pulled these out i didn't i i was waiting i just saw stuff and was like okay let's go for it so this one is cool it's like these hammered coins let's see if we can figure out what they are so this is the, what is that? I can't make out what it is. The other side of the coin, it's a dude. They're smaller ones. And then they're curved, they're like hammered in. Here's the larger of the coins. Let's see if we can make out who it is. Or what country we think it's from. Anybody, anybody? And then the, oh, thank you. And the way it closes, it's got a little hole punched and then a hook fastened on there. So it closes up like so. Isn't that cool? Can we read what that says? I'm 900 in Germany. I don't know. Okay. This says, okay, this is Australia. I think that says Australia. Oh, it does. Hey, hey. Okay. Can you see? Australia. Sorry, I'm losing my light. Australia. Um, she's okay. The woman is Bolivian Cholita wearing a bowler hat. Oh, thank you. Okay, so there's that. This was in there. Then we also have this one that has some different types. There's tiger's eye, but they're not all tiger's eye. There's some of them are different kind of brownish stone. Silver's Peru. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have to look it up from Peru. Okay. There's this one. That's an LC. That's a Liz Claiborne right there. And then also in here, oh, this is really pretty, is this bracelet. It looks like it's it maybe broken. Is that broken? No, no. It just flipped. No, it's broken. Is it? No, maybe not. Okay. We'll see. Not broken. Okay. So here's this bracelet. And it's got a box type clasp, ready? And it's got a safety, which I love. I love ones with safeties. Okay, so let's close her up and see if it works. How are we going here? How are we doing? Flip. And is, that gonna, is it broken or is it gonna go in there? Oh, it's going in, okay. Wait, wait, get in there. Oh, yeah, it worked, okay. So it closed up, little box clasp, and it's the safety closed up on it. Oh, there is marks on there, too. Oh, so tiny. Why? Why so tiny? Can you see the stamps underneath the, the safety clasp? I can. I can see that they're there. I cannot see. 
that's what they are. But this is got a slight magnetic pull to it, so I'll have to look at it later. Anyway, yeah, this is all still from one. I may have to do the rest of it later because man, we're still at we're still from the first estate sale, and I still have a little bit to go. We may have to have a two-parter. How long have we been at this? You can barely see the glass. <laughs> My loop is maybe in the apartment. How long? 35 minutes. Okay, I tell you what, we'll finish this one and then I'll come back. We'll finish the jewelry and then I'll come back and do the rest because I still have quite a bit. I got a lot. Okay, then here we've got, this was 25 cents and I'm losing my light big time. Um, <laughs> the maker's mark doesn't even show up. Okay, ready? This was in this 25 cent bag, ready? We've got a little elephant, trunks up, that's a good sign. And then down here you can see 925 marked on him. And then we've got this chain in here, really long one. However, feeling, well, let's see. It's not getting picked up by my magnet. And even though things are marked 925, they're not always. So, but it's not attracted to the magnet either. Let's see if that's, because man, that's a big long chain if it's silver. Ooh, we've got a nice little class. Let's take a peek. Ah, uh, where's my phone? Ah, hey. You ready for bed, huh? What, you need to ask Daddy, please. Yes. Well, what did Daddy say? Oh, well, if that's what Daddy said, then that's what I say, too. We have tomorrow. We have tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. I know you do. I know you do. Sorry, y'all. Hang on. I'm trying to get the, a picture of this to see if that is a silver chain or not. I have a feeling it is. Um, okay, hang on. I'm robbing his. Okay, that is silver. I have a feeling it is. I just can't see. I mean, and I'm rubbing off the tarnish, so that's another good sign, right? When you're rubbing the tarnish off, this is a really nice chain if it, it turns out to be totally sterling. But yeah, I'll, I'll find my loop. It's at the apartment still. We're still not moved in all the way. Um, gosh, and I don't have enough light to really see either. Okay, I'm gonna set it to the side. Cause yeah, if this is end up, ends up being silver, that's a really nice chain right there. I mean, the elephant's silver too, so. Put that to the side. Beautiful. And then 50 cents, we get some more earrings. Hi, Joni, how's it going? Okay, clean this one open. So in this one, ooh, we've got quite a bit of fun stuff. <laughs> we have a little pin that, sorry about my light, it's gotten dark outside and I don't have all my, the pods come this week. So hopefully I'll have my lights and we can get all set up and get everything going. Back to normal. We got a, we got our refrigerator and we've got a washer dryer so I can clean clothes now. Dishwasher, man, not so much. Okay, tell me what you think of these pins. They definitely have pin backs, like so, but there's three of them. So one is a sun, and they almost look like pewter, almost. Maybe they're pewter. I'm not sure. I'm not 100%. Then there's a moon and stars, and then there's just like a star, right? Do you watch um, Game of Thrones? You're my moon and stars. Yeah, you're my son. Anyway, uh, I know, right? 68 watching, two thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, go hit the thumbs up. I can't believe how many thumbs down I got on that other video. Oh, well, it does look like Peter. Oh, cool, cool. Thanks. I, 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 I don't know if you saw that video that I did yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was like a, a year ago. Not a year, but anyway, I lost a lot of subscribers. I was very surprised. Anyway. All right, so we got this candle. This was $2, but I think it's really pretty. Oh, I really am losing the light. Okay, let me finish this up. 
and then I'll finish the rest of it tomorrow. But boy, I still have a bit. Let's see, this one, I don't know, if, I, I think it was 25 for all three because they're all tangled together. 25 cents. We have this bracelet. It's sort of a teardrop. And the clasp is cool. I really liked the clasp. Look, it looks like so. And then you open it. I can open it. Oh, it's really in there. It's all tangled up. Let me see if I can get it out of there. I'm going to need to pop it. People can be fickle. This is true. Like, you can't please them all. Oh, well. Can't please everybody. Okay. So then, yeah, this one, it closes like so. This comes through here. Maybe. How do I get it? There we go. Like so. And then it clips down. I like that a lot. And then it is marked. Can we read it? It gets upside down. Between the lot of us, what do you think it says? Is that Monet? I think it might be Monet. I think it's Monet. Uh, probably. The moon and stars look like pewter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait, I'm missing. Right, it's, I mean, we, we really, uh, I found some good stuff, for sure. Okay, then... This was in that as well. It's a little chain bracelet. And then this one as well. This bracelet. So all of those. And then one of them, maybe this one, had a Napier hang tag, but it kind of popped off. I'm guessing it might have been that one. We'll see. Okay, still going, still going. Just hit thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, this is why I'm thinking that the estate sales are going to be really good here. Hey, Pancake. Maybe we'll get a, a showing from all the cats this evening. All right, we got a star. The star was 25 cents. Here we go. And it is marked. I think this is LR. LR. Hmm. I'm going to need help with that one. I can't think of an LR off the top of my head. LR. Hey, Turtle Trader. Hey. Oh, hey, Deja Houston. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming to hang out. Okay, then this again, this is a quarter. I love things with the safety chains. So, and it almost has this kind of like Damascene look to it, but it's not really Damascene. It's kind of got that look but i love the safety chain so and it opens Ooh. okay hi maggie doodle how are you did they have a ton of joy they had a lot and there was more there um but i was i didn't take a ton of money with me and so i was just kind of like grabbing up jewelry and then um wasn't sure how much I had, you know? So, but it was all like that, like 25 cents, 50 cents. Here's another one. This was 25 cents. Still at it. We still have a little pile here. Did he leave? He left. Okay. So we've got a shape of Texas. That was a quarter. Definitely, I don't think I'll have any problems making my money back. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good stuff. Uh, that was a dollar, I think. Yep, that one's a dollar. Really cute little Christmas tree. <laughs> oh no, I can't find it. These two got tangled up. Okay, these ones, a lot of these were in like a basket sitting on the table. And then this this was hanging on the wall. This It always baffles me when the jewelry is not where the checkout is. So when I went in and I had searched on the yard sale treasure map, this is one thing I love about this app, is that I can search jewelry. And so if anybody has listed that they have jewelry at their sale, then it'll pop up. So when I searched and saw there was an estate sale with jewelry, I was like, okay, I'll go hit that one. Um, I think it was the first one I went to. And it wasn't by the cashier. And so I went walking around the house, and it was like back in one of the bedrooms. Yeah. When am I going to find time to list all this stuff? I don't know. If 
I can't. This is the thing. I was telling Randy, like, well, this will, you know, it'll just make my mystery locks that much nicer. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it'll, yeah, that's what I was like. You know what? Even at a quarter, if I do miss some mystery lots or some giveaways, I've got some cool stuff to include now, right? <laughs> LR sells on Amazon, mostly sterling silver. Oh, okay, Lady Remington. Lady Remington, isn't isn't that a razor? Are you pulling my leg? It's a crazy card. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I I have been known to be a slightly gullible. <laughs> Finally, jewelry, yay. Okay, so we have this necklace was 25 cents. Um, here we have the chain, and the chain is, there's a stamp on the, the clasp. Again, no loop right now, sorry. But it's a really cool chain, and then it's got these like turquoise nuggets down at the base. And I think they are, tell I'm sorry, I'm really losing the light. Um, I think they are really turquoise nuggets. And not like how light. Oh, I wish I could you could see better. But I don't have any more lights to turn on for you. Maybe if I close the blinds. I don't know. Um <laughs> I was shaving my legs. So, and it looks vintage. I mean, just the style of the chain and everything. It's really long. Let's all right, let go of that. Hang on. Yeah, the chain is not magnetic. <laughs> I'm laughing in the chat. If you're watching this later, y'all have to check it out. The chat, they're really funny in there. So you can see a little stamp on there. So I'm pretty sure it says silver. Okay, get wait till you see this one. I love it. 25 cents. <laughs> Lady Warrington is actually a jewelry maker. Okay, good. 25 cents. And as you can see, it is a bolo. Here comes Pris, Miss Leia. It's a bolo. And it's got a roadrunner on it isn't it cool and there's I don't know the back is kind of painted over black so very cool I mean I think probably at least 20 bucks on that if not more so bolo bolo got a couple more pieces of jewelry here and then we'll pause and we'll finish tomorrow because I've got a lot of stuff for tomorrow too all right this was 50 cents and it's got a couple pendants in it. Two pendants. Here we go. I really did. Thanks, impromptu drift. Yeah, I love. Yeah, the roadrunners are so cool. Okay, so here, this little pendant has got a blue bonnet on it. <laughs> yes. And I can see a little signature down there, but I have to get my loop to see what it says. So blue bonnet's on there. Where are you in? I'm guessing you are in Houston, Deja Houston. I just came from Houston. And then look at this, you guys. I'm going to have to do a little asking about this pendant. Look at it. So it's got these like blue cabochons in there. And then there's one on the bottom. I'm going to have to show you again in better light. And then I, I'm going to have to look at it because I almost feel like it's, it's silver. But the light is so bad. The reason I think it might be silver is the way that it's tarnished and then the where it's not tarnished like around where it was rubbing on the maybe the what it was on so it's still kind of silver up here so i'm gonna have to look at this a little yeah you're in san antonio oh, okay yeah i'm in austin now so i don't know i mean what, let me know if you know what this is or how cool this is that's, i mean come on that's really unusual isn't it um Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we we went to what is today? Sunday. Um, one, we have a refrigerator now, so I was able to like get stuff to put in the refrigerator. Put it on the silver chain. Oh, good, good call. That would look pretty on there. And then we went to a birthday party today. I have a friend who lives in Austin. I don't know very many people here at all, but I have a friend who I knew in college, and so her little boy was having his fifth birthday today, and she invited my guys to come. So we went to that. So that was good. Oh, yes. Blue, oh, the blue bonnets are gorgeous in Texas. So this is 25 cents for three, three bracelets. Okay. And I love, you know how I feel about these. I told you. I've told you. I love bracelets like this. And this one, how did they get that on there? That's what I want to know. I'm going to have to cut that off. So this gold 
bracelet. Hang on, let me get this because I don't want to mess up. And this one is a Monet. But hang on. I don't want us to break this chain because I'm really wanting to not break this chain. Okay, let me see if I can fix this. Lost. Hang on. Oh, I want this off. There we go. There we go. Okay, so yeah, this one is a Monet. It's got a little hang tag there that says Monet, but I love bracelets like this. I think they're so classy looking, you know what I mean? I just, and with the little safety chain, it says, I love this bracelet so much, I don't want to, I don't want to lose it. Um, so there's that. And then this one was in there. Again, these were all three of us a quarter for those three bracelets. So then this one, and there is a mark in here. I just saw it. And it is marked something. Again, in there, I can't read. I'm going to have to get my... Oh, okay, I really want to see. Because look, look at what that tells me is like really good quality and maybe gold. Another reason I think I'm going to look at it closer. If you, mm, there's some dings. Oh, should I show you in a second? Okay, and then this one, here's another Monet bracelet bangle. Hang on. Maybe this is a Monet too. Let me see where my... Where did I put my magnet? There you are. Okay, magnet. Hmm. It is not magnetic. Loop, loop, loop. I know, right? I'm going to have to get my phone and take a picture of that right there. There we go. I don't know where my loop is. Okay, bear with me. I'm going to see what this is. Talk amongst yourself. Usually I say play, play I spy. I spy with my eye. Kitty cat. Receiver. Come on. Oh, the light is just horrible. Okay, let's see if I got it. Let's see. Okay, okay. So it says 120th, 12 karat, and now it's upside down. It says 120th, 12 karat gold fill, GF. Good gracious, stop it. Okay, let me take another screenshot so I can have complete control over its safety photos. What's up, sugar? Um, can you use another one? Mommy's in here right now. Okay, so here we go. Oh, you kidding me? Okay. Anyway, you can see it. 12 karat gold filled. So it's not gold gold. It's gold filled gold. <laughs> Tell my son, I don't, he's my one that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so, re, what did I miss? I missed something. Okay. Uh, oh, my son's in the background? Yeah. Where, where's, yeah. Sometimes you just got to let it go. What am I going to do? We've been playing with the idea of letting them be on the channel again, like I'm the holdout. Like they're fine with it, my husband's fine with it. We have the homeschool channel. I've done some videos with them and then I, I don't know, I get weird about it and they're like, ah, never mind. Fine, forget it. So many people do it, right? So many people have their kids on. I don't know. Retro Diva Jen says it's gold over silver. Oh, okay. So, I mean, this is really nice. It's not a nice quality, right? Er, no in under. <laughs> Oh, is he in his underwear? Oh, brother. Okay, I'll have to go <laughs> go back and look. Oh, brother. <laughs> I believe it. He's one of those that just... Yep. Okay. I'll have to go look. All right, so this was 25 cents for these two. There's a feature after the fact where I can go, like, blur him out. So I'll have to go after the fact and blur him out. Okay, I did get more stuff from this estate sale. But I'm going to have to come back and show you tomorrow because I have some more from, that's all the jewelry from this estate sale. But then I've got some other things that I got there. And then um, some other jewelry that I got at the other garage sale that I mentioned the other day. Tarzan, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a little boy. You know, if you've got boys, I mean, that's what they do, right? Okay, so, um, yeah. I'm going to leave it there for now. We've been at it for about an hour, and that was a lot, right? So that's really good stuff. I can't wait to find out. I'm going to look at that um, 
necklace. And then tomorrow I'll share the rest of the stuff I got with you guys. So make sure you get down there and hit the thumbs up and I will talk to you guys soon. And if you're interested, go over sub my homeschool honey channel to see the stuff I got that was educational for our homeschool. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye everybody.